As we've said earlier, we are now in the experience economy. And a key part of that is the quality of consumer connectivity. And the market leader in secure connectivity solutions for embedded applications is NXP. So let's watch a video about this company, NXP. Great video. So now, please join me in welcoming to the stage NXP's Senior Vice President of Product and Technology Enablement, Chris Collins. Chris, welcome. Thank you. Bonjour and good morning. I think that video is probably about as good as it's going to get. It's going to go downhill from here. I work for NXP. My name is Chris Collins. I'm a senior vice president. I, I manage about a thousand really brilliant and fantastic engineers around the world that bring technologies and products to life. Uh, one of the, our focuses is driving scale and actually digital tr uh, transformation. And uh, last night I had a, a really nice dinner. Thank you, Bernard. I met a lot of amazing people. I met people trying to uh, revitalize and, and commercialize supersonic flight, building amazing airplanes. I met people building amazing commercial jets. I met people um, building the most efficient air conditioning and heating systems. And I, I met people printing 3D parts of, of body parts. So I could only imagine the plastic surgery TAM for 3D body parts. Um, and then I thought about myself and I thought, wow, I don't have anything that'll fill up this room. You know, the things that NXP makes are, are about this big, okay, and they're easy to lose. And uh, in, in these, you can have hundreds of, of millions of components. So this in itself is, is a whole engineering supply chain, not just manufacturing it after design, and that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, does anybody know what NXP stands for? That's what I thought. Okay, it stands for Customer's Next Experience, right? and, and that's uh, what the founders decided to call it, so it's actually a privilege to be able to share with you our next experience of our digital transformation journey uh, down the 3D realm. So probably what I'm going to show you today is not really that exciting, because I think most people in this room um, have done this before. You're used to PLM. Well, I'm from Semiconductor. Uh, there's a, there's a, when I was a kid, you used, I used to watch Sesame Street. And they, there's a song called One of These Things, and it's, they say, which one of these things is not like the other? And they repeat that in the song, and that's Semiconductor. You know, all these great products that Dean showed and Accenture showed, and our products are in there, um, but they're made differently. And, and 
for a semiconductor being such a high-tech business, <laughs> there's really a lot of low-tech capability in there when it comes to creating a product. So I'm going to show you kind of what we've been through the last year and a half. All right, so a little bit about NXP. Uh, we're in 30 plus countries, about 9.4 billion in revenue. We have 9,000 patent families, over 9,000 engineers, close to 10,000 engineers. So a third of our workforce is R&D. And we have a 60 plus year history. Those of you in Europe might remember NXP came from Philips and Freescale came from Motorola and NXP uh, and Freescale got together. So in 60 plus year history, there's a lot of knowledge which is also a barrier to change, <laughs> okay? So it is really difficult, as, as Ms. Chang mentioned, uh, culture is, is really an issue when it comes to driving a digital transformation. Okay, our target markets, automotive, industrial, IoT, mobile, communication infrastructure. Uh, there's a Capital One commercial um, where Jennifer Garner, it's a credit card company and Jennifer Garner gets on TV and she says, what's in your wallet? Everybody recognize that commercial? Okay. Well, that's one of the products we make. So this little silver piece on your credit card here, that's actually not the chip. That's a contact. The chip is actually embedded in the plastic. Okay. So next time you see that Jennifer Garner commercial and they say, what's in your wallet? You can shout out NXP and your family will look at you really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, across those markets, um, you, you know, when it comes to focusing on safety, security, mobility, uh, we pretty much entertain all product spaces from the cloud infrastructure, some of those things you saw from Amazon, and edge to node. And these products you use every day, and you use NXP products every day, you just don't know it if you have a mobile phone. You know, we're one of the co-creators of near-field communication along with Sony back in about 2002. So when you hold up your phone to make a payment, uh, you can thank NXP doing the secure chip that does the transmission there. So um, I'm in your wallet. You just don't know it. Okay, so let's talk about sustainability. So from a, a sustainability perspective, we really view a key foundation for that is total quality. Okay, so first time right, development and designs. That means you, you have to have good servant leaders in R&D that learn from their mistakes and have foresight on what to do next. We have a zero defect meth methodology uh, and functional safety methodology and automotive re uh, requirements now have moved from parts per million to parts per billion. Okay, so Audi, Conti, none of these people want to see a zero kilometer fail uh, of a product. I mean. If you're making all these cars and there's a product failure and the car doesn't run before it's delivered to the customer, well, if you make about 6,000 cars a day and you have 1% zero kilometer fails, where do you store 60 cars a day? So it's a really big deal for the automotive companies. Uh, and then we're seeing even some high performance consumer companies such as in the mobile space uh, um, pushing us hard for zero defects. And you have to have really flawless customer support. Right? So we looked at Deso Systems uh, to help us in our vision of total quality and sustainability. Where you'll see over 40 billion plus intelligent devices shipped in 2020. Okay, so if you're going to connect 40 billion plus devices uh, in a supply chain, then you do need total quality and you need to share data. Okay, so that's really the digital transformation for us is how we share our data from an inherently insular industry, semiconductor, to now sharing our data in more real time with uh, our customers. Okay, so what were our requirements um, for our, what we'll call our enterprise design product data management system? And I'll show you some, some uh, statistics here in a minute. We have 75 plus design sites across the globe. Of course, I mentioned the zero defect methodology. We have huge, complex um, design bill of materials. So in this little thing, which are easy to lose by just dropping them on the floor, uh, <clears throat> like I said, we'll have 5,000 components in there. Well, one component might have 100,000 elements in it, resistors, capacitors, transistors. So now you're talking about keeping track of a lot of things from a lot of different places, from a lot of different groups around the world. 
and, um, and they get pretty huge and complex, and then you miss things and cause revisions, and then you have fails in the field, okay? We wanted enterprise-level defect visibility uh, and tracking. I think this is very novel for what we've been able to do with DESO systems. Uh, traditionally, people look at just the supply chain, the manufacturing piece, and where you get all the components and so forth. We use uh, Anovia in that, that realm, but now we're also innovating in the design R&D space and, and using it um, for how we do all of our semiconductor chips. End-to-end right? -end traceability, I can find a transistor defect on any piece of silicon from any fab, doesn't matter if there's a billion transistors with this system, and we can find it quickly. Uh, we have a global IP distribution and reuse program. Everybody does IP reuse. The difference is how good you are at it, okay? I think this enables us to be more than best in class, and uh, we have stringent security requirements, okay? If I'm gonna be in your wallet, I just can't have anybody work on those chips. They have to be high secure restricted environments, and they use tools from non-restricted and require, uh, um, non-restrictive re, uh, environments, and then getting those two to talk to each other in a secure way uh, is key, and we can do that with Anovia. Okay, and, and lastly, I, I heard Miss um, Chang mention this too, single source of truth. Uh, that's very difficult to find in a semiconductor company, okay? Um, as I mentioned, you know, from an IP standpoint, there are some suppliers out there, uh, semiconductor suppliers, that don't know how much IP they have or what they have, and they have to pay consultants to come in and scour their system and tell them what they have and, and where it is, right? So it's very difficult, if impossible, for them to have a single source of truth. And if we're going to have ultimate uh, total quality and traceability, a single source of truth is the only way to make sustainability. Okay, um, trusted partner. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to a few folks here. Uh, I don't know how many people are in here from Dassault Systems, but um, they worked with us since 2016 and they unseated what I would say is really just a vendor. And they assembled, uh, I think thanks to Bernard's culture he's instituted, a really, um, thoughtful, energetic, innovative team that could recognize the vision behind what could be done in semiconductor one day, right? So the SO Systems uh, was selected. They unseated a supplier. I won't say who they are, but they're just located in Redwood City. I'll leave it at that. Um, there's a strong semiconductor focus in Dassault Systems. They were a trusted advisor. They even brought in uh, one of their third-party uh, partners, uh, Consensia, um, really fantastic company that worked, all three of us worked together to get this solution put out. And of course, it's anchored by Anovia, right? Okay, I mentioned before, complexity in bill of materials. So on the left here is a digital networking chip called Layerscape. This thing is gonna have 1,600 pins on it. So that little credit card I just showed you had four, three, five pins on it. This will have 1,600 pins on this chip and it's gonna be a little bit bigger than what I showed you. But this is very complex with millions and millions and hundreds of millions of transistors. Okay? And then our i.mx8 uh, microcontrollers, you use all those if you go drive a car nowadays, at least one not from the 60s. It probably has at least a dozen NXP microcontrollers in it, controlling your windows, controlling all sorts of things. All right, so here's just a high-level overview of what we put together, all right? So we have design sync for a lot of our IP data. Uh, our IP teams all release and publish. I'll show you some statistics here in a minute. Um, all the chip errata, the test management, the system and package bill of materials. So sometimes we'll, we'll take two, three, or four chips and stitch them together with wires thinner than a human hair, and then we'll encapsulate that whole thing in a piece of plastic, and it's still as big as your pinky, pinky nail. Um, and then we have chip teams that do all their IP versioning uh, and tagging methodology, right? So introducing tagging methodology to people that were in a very non-structured way of doing design is, is uh, it takes a while, okay? And all that, of course, was anchored by, by Anovia, 
uh, and I'll share some statistics with you now. Okay, so we have um, almost 10,000 engineers and almost half of them in one year using this system. Okay, we have 1,400 daily distinct users per day. Not everybody needs to use the system daily. Some might use it once a week. Some might use it once every two weeks. Um, we have 55 design sites around the globe that are using this. We have 2,500 IP tickets work per month, 2,300 IP releases per month. So there is where it's hard to keep track of things if you're reusing IP because this stuff, much like software, is constantly being updated uh, and those, those different, uh, what we'll call bombs, uh, that are fixed on the system, you want different people to be able to access them at different times and different uh, uh, life cycles of each of those bombs. So um, it gets very difficult, uh, if not impossible, to keep up with that if, you're, if you don't have a, a system like this from, uh, in your design world. And then, like I said, we had 5,000 plus component engineering bombs. And uh, most of the groups, you know, especially in semiconductor, um, it's a lot of cobbling together of previous companies. So you, you heard NXP and Freescale, well, they were on two different systems. One wasn't on a system, one was on a system. And then you buy a 60 person design team, and they're doing something else, and you just keep adding and adding and adding, and, and uh, as we've been able to acquire companies, and we have acquired uh, several small little companies, they can just walk right into this system and start doing design, even with their previous IP. So all of NXP's IP uh, is loaded into this system, and we even take it one step further, and that uh, my team puts out all of what I'll call, um, let's call it Legos. Everybody knows what a Lego is, right? Uh, maybe you remember when you were a kid, you had those Lincoln logs and you had different size logs and, and a roof. And so that's my group. We put out all the Legos. Okay? And there's all different kinds of Legos and there's hundreds, if not thousands of, of them. And the designers can take those and make a house or a car or whatever it is they want to make out of it. And then they can make their own Legos. So we're actually distributing all of our process design kits, the whole tool set. Everything is distributed as part of the bomb in Anovia, and I'm not aware of anyone doing that, and it provides us ultimate traceability uh, and affordability. All right, next slide here. Okay, so um, I'll just finish with this, right? So it's truly inspiring to work at a company that focuses on safety and security, uh, and I'm not talking about just secure from hackers, but um, we make a lot of chips that go in products that make people's homes safe and, and so forth. And so NXP's real focus is all about safety, security, and connectivity. And on this slide, you can see some of the things that we're in. And now if you take a look, now you really know you use a lot of NXP products. Right? Wherever you are in the world, you use a lot of NXP products. And you know, my only hope is they are contributing to a safer and secure environment for you. And, and uh, I'll just close with asking you, don't forget who's in your wallet, NXP. Thank you.